more pharma news across, just crossing the wires. Meg Terrell joins us now with more. Hey, Meg. Hey, Joe. Well, three deals this morning from Merck making moves in COVID-19, essentially uh, making a partnership on an antiviral drug and two different deals on vaccines. First, on the antiviral drug front, this is a partnership with Ridgeback Bio to develop its antiviral drug, which is an uh, an oral drug that's in phase one. That means it can be taken as a pill. Uh, they're not disclosing the upfront payment here, the milestones, uh, but they say essentially that in phase one studies, this has demonstrated that the compound is well tolerated and that preclinical work shows it has potent antiviral properties against multiple coronavirus strains, including SARS-CoV-2. Now, on the vaccines front, two different partnerships. One is with a nonprofit called IAVI, uh, where they're going to be using the same technology that they used to develop their Ebola vaccine. Uh, they've also signed an agreement with BARDA to provide initial funding to support this effort. And they say uh, it's currently preclinical and that human studies are planned to start later in 2020. And finally, the third piece of news from Merck this morning, they're acquiring a privately held company called Themis uh, that also has a vaccine for COVID-19 in the works. It uses the measles virus as a vector uh, for that platform. And they say they are currently approaching rapid entry to phase one trials for COVID-19. So quite a lot of news there from Merck. And on the IAVI front, that second piece of news we mentioned, this is sort of a coming back together of the team that developed the only approved Ebola vaccine. Mark Feinberg is the CEO of IAVI, and he was at Merck working on Ebola. So uh, a lot to watch here uh, from Merck. And it kind of explains what we heard from Francis Collins in a Reuters story last week, that Merck appeared to be only a couple months behind other companies in getting into human trials. So a lot to watch.